Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade standard of number sets. This is standard 7.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 from the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got two different sets of numbers here, A and B, and in all cases, A is a set of rational numbers, B is a set of integers. And as you can see in all of these, A sits outside of B and B is included within A. So we at least know that, so A is going to be rational. And let's see what that includes. You really see that word ratio inside rational numbers. So any type of number that can be shown as a ratio, right? So that makes us think fractions. So three-fourths could be negative one-tenth. Could even be percents, right? So 70%, we could put that in there simply because if I wanted to, I could put that into a, a ratio or a fraction of 7 tenths. Whole numbers, even just something like 100. Pretty simple because if I wanted to, I could make that a fraction 100 over 1. So all of those work. Positive, negative, doesn't really matter. So those are, are our rational numbers that serve as ratios. And then within them, you've got this set of B, which is integers. So integers are a little bit smaller group, as you can see. They include some of the rational, but not all. And we're looking basically at whole numbers that are positive or negative. So negative 8, 37, 0, 49,362. What we're not seeing are any decimals. Decimals, if we see them, can go up here, like watch this, 7.2 can go up my rational, because if I wanted to, I could make that a ratio of 77 and 2 tenths, or if I really wanted to, I could make that 72 over 10. So any of these numbers we could turn into a ratio, we can put up in our top number. Integers are just whole numbers that are either positive or negative. No mixed numbers, no decimals. Knowing all that, Let's take a look at our options, A, B, C, and D. So A at the top has three. Can that be turned into a ratio? Yes. 1.5 can be one and five tenths or 15 over 10. So that's looking good right there for rational numbers. And we've got a negative whole number. So A is looking pretty good. So B, it already is a ratio. That's good. And 7.1, that can be turned into a a uh, fraction of 7 and 1 tenths or 71 over 10. So looking good here. Uh, but look at B down on set B. We've got a decimal and we only want whole numbers that are positive or negative. So B is not going to work. C, well, this is already a ratio, so that's good. And we've got 3.1. So yeah, that's already good. Uh, I can make that 3 and 1 tenth, or I can make that 31 over 10. So, yeah, that's going to work. But then B is a integer, and that works. So we look like we've got A and C that both work. We'll come back to that. Let's make sure D is wrong. And so, yeah, these are already both ratios, so that's pretty simple. But once again, D makes this mistake of putting it in a decimal form. That needs to be a whole number, either positive or negative. So for sure, B and D are wrong. Let's make sure we didn't mess anything up here. So we've got A and C. Now only one of these be, can be correct. Which one is a better representation of rational numbers? Well, probably C. And that is actually the correct answer if you look at the answer key. But I don't really like this question because A could also work. This is actually a natural number or counting number, so that would actually go in a smaller subset here. But that's also a rational number. So I don't like that they gave you that. But our answer here is C because that's the better representation.